Hey there, welcome back. If you're following along the series, this is Jeff Hendrickson, Laughing Raven Studio. Thanks for coming back and joining me again. We are in the process of creating a women's jacket. And like I said in the last one, we're going to get right into it this time, okay? Here's what we are moving towards. Here's where we are right now in our steps, okay? We've just added in the top stitch lines for the pocket and you know what I'm thinking that those are just a little bit small if we look at our original over here we've got some pretty decent sized pockets and when we came back over here we've got some tiny little pockets now you can leave them that way if you'd like you can also make them bigger and there are several different ways to make them bigger let's do it one of these ways we're gonna use our select tool okay and I'm just gonna pull this guy up a little bit here this way All right. I'm then going to delete this one and I'm going to do a copy and paste as you know I'm so fond of doing copy and paste I'm going to do that object transform reflect it's going to pull us back around again slide it back over on the other side and we've got a little bit bigger pocket which I think matches up what we were shooting for a little bit better now you notice once again that the pockets are a little bit different but it's okay this is all based on what you want to do okay your design is probably going to be a little bit different than mine as well so uh, no worries about that we're mainly uh, worried about technique here okay we need to uh, grab our select tool again because we now need to make this guy a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna slide him up along it a little bit like that now here's maybe something where we can learn how to use guide tools because we can drag our guide down into here we can now grab a hold of this guy and we can work right up so that we've got essentially the exact same line on both sides these guidelines are invaluable you have to have the ruler turned on okay your ruler can be turned on and off if you're on a Mac it's command R turns your ruler off you see how that disappeared watch right here ruler comes back in again and anytime you want a guideline you click inside the ruler you drag your guideline down you come over on the side same thing you drag your guideline in okay you can clear your guidelines uh, very easily by going to view guides clear guides you can take the guides back out again you can also hide them on a Mac it's command and uh, semicolon hides the guides and that's a toggle so that'll bring those back up again if you want them back on again I'm noticing here that something's not looking quite right so I'm gonna get back into here I don't really like the way this is happening I'm gonna go then to my direct select tool which is a if you want your shortcut and you hover over you see that big box comes up and I'm just gonna drag that line in a tiny little bit to make it a little bit smoother and fit into our seam a little bit better okay let's zoom back out and let's go top stitch line here that'll be the next easiest one to do is to get that top stitch line so I'm going back to my select tool I am going to select this line in particular I'm gonna copy and paste that I'm gonna bring it up on top we come over here to our lines we're gonna knock that down to 0.25 which is what we're tending to do for all of our top stitch lines we're gonna click our dash we get it we need two of those so we're going to whoops what happened we want to select that and we want to move that next one up now we want to make sure that we're matching up with where our other top stitch line is and we're not very well on this guy all right so if we grab our direct direct select tool again we can grab the end of that we can slide it down so that coming off of there it matches that and we probably want to make sure that down here at the very end uh, we come in a little bit tighter too so let's grab this end and let's bring this guy in a little bit tighter so that we've got a nice tight top stitch line okay so we now see that we've got that top stitch line done I'm out of time for this one next top stitch lines will go on in the very next video thanks a lot I'll see you in the next video Jeff Hendrickson Laughing Raven Studio bye bye